Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of the ways that I use Just Dumbbells to work my entire freaking body, okay? It's insane how versatile dumbbells really are and I feel like they're super underrated. I use dumbbells more than any other piece of equipment. They're super inexpensive. They take up no freaking space. You can just have them at home, pick them up when you're ready. But today I'm gonna show you all the ways that I do uh, a full body workout. I'm gonna start with upper body and then work down towards showing you lower body workouts. So if you're doing this for the first time or you're new at this, definitely start with lower weight until you feel comfortable enough um, and you want more of a challenge, then up your weight. Do not forget to ever stretch. Stretch your muscles out. And with each of these exercises, always do um, no weight first, then add weight. But before I begin, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe because I do make new videos every single week just like this. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, the first exercise I have here is probably the most obvious one and mostly used. This is just your standard curl which works your biceps and it's important to just keep your elbows in towards your waist to keep that correct form. And with every single one of these exercises I show you, it's very important to always keep those abs nice and tight to prevent any pulling and especially on your lower back. This next exercise just might be one of my favorites. These are lateral raises, and I like to do them two different ways. This first way is by being slightly bent over, which not only targets your arms and shoulders, but it also targets your back and your lateral muscles. The next way is to just stand perfectly upright and lift directly to your sides, and this targets more of your shoulders and your upper back. Next up is chest press. This I like to just do on the floor nice and comfortably. You want to extend up and inward to get the full extension. Ladies, this is a must, especially if you're trying to keep things looking nice and perky, if you know what I mean. This next one is called flies or butterflies, whichever you prefer. This also works out your chest muscles and it also targets that awkward area between your armpit and your boob where it gets a little pudgy there. Yeah, I think you know what I mean. It's embarrassing when you're trying to wear bikinis or like tank tops. So this is my favorite for that. This one is called lying tricep extensions or you may have heard the term skull crushers. These work, obviously, your triceps and even down to your lats. Now, I would absolutely recommend doing this with normal uh, metal weights, not adjustables, because um, not only is that rod very dangerous next to your eye, which is why I'm laughing, because James pointed that out, but it um, also is dangerous. You don't want those plates to fall off by chance and literally crush your skull. This next one is also another tricep extension. This one happens to be my favorite. You only need one dumbbell to do this and you just bring it behind your head and lift upwards. This next one you will absolutely need metal weights for to keep you nice and stable on the ground, but these are just like basic push-ups using dumbbells, which actually help to stabilize you and put less pressure on your wrists. Bent over rows are really good if you're trying to work your back because it is so versatile. If you bring the weight up to your chest, you can work your upper back, but if you bring it more towards your waist, you can work more of your mid back, so it has a nice range. This next one is called the tricep kickback and it obviously works your triceps and targets that really just annoying back of the arm bulge that I just cannot stand and out of every single tricep workout this one I can really feel that burn on. This one is called the upright row which works not only your shoulders but your biceps and even your traps. And 
last but not least, this is the shoulder press, which obviously works your shoulders and also your upper back. Okay, so it's time for a couple nice ab workouts. This one in particular, these are just normal side raises, which mainly target your obliques. But if you just keep your entire midsection nice and tight, then it really does work the entire area of your stomach. This next one is an upper ab twister. Just hold both sides of the dumbbell and twist using your core muscles. This exercise should be done relatively slowly and try not to jerk your body too much just to prevent any unwanted pulls. Okay, now to add in a little bit of lower body. This is called the one arm swing, just using one dumbbell. And as you can see, it's you're kind of going into like a squat and just swinging out your arms. So it's also working out your shoulders and your legs. Super important to keep your back very straight when doing this to prevent pulling on your lower back. I love me some lateral lunges, baby. Yes, so these work your legs. Um, as well as, specifically, they target your outer glute area. You know, girls, to give you that nice rounded booty. And if you're somebody looking to target that awkward area in your inner thigh, that realm, definitely try these goblet squats. It's super easy, just squat it out down low using one dumbbell. You did not think I would forget about the glutes, did you? This is a donkey kick with a dumbbell. All you need is one. This targets mainly your upper booty area and your hamstrings. And the further you bring your leg backwards, the more it will actually target your lower back as well. The next one is just a standard deadlift. This targets your hamstrings and your glutes. It's super important to keep your back straight as well for this one to avoid any unnecessary pulling. And don't forget to squeeze those glutes when you come up. This is an absolute must if you're looking to tone up and round that booty. Here you have your basic lunges. This targets your entire lower body, your legs, your quads, your hammies, and especially your lower booty. If you're really looking for an intense glute burn, my absolute go-to favorite, which I believe gives me the best results, are bridges. This targets the entire glute, and it will also really help to tone up and strengthen your lower back. For an extra challenge and to really feel that burn, try holding the bridge in place for as long as you can. And of course, you cannot forget or leave out the standard squat. This is one of the greatest compound workouts known to man. It literally works every single part of your body. Weighted wall sits will give you that real extra burn if you're looking for it. Keep your legs at a 90 degree angle and hold it for as long as you can. And for me, I get tired super easily with this one. And the very last workout that I have to share with you guys are none other than calf raises. It's so important not to forget about the calves because you do want to keep a nice proportionate body. Ooh, I'm exhausted, y'all. So guys, that was my full body workout using dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoyed this full body tone up. Comment down below if you do these at home or if you're trying it out for yourself. This will definitely, you'll feel it. You will feel it the next day, okay? If you guys have any questions about anything that I showed you, please feel free to comment down below. And again, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if it helped you and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.